the Northern Oregon Regional Correctional Facility, known as NORCOR, is a public jail serving four counties in the Columbia River Gorge, Gillum, Hood River, Sherman, and Wasco. The jail was built in the city of the Dalles in the mid-1990s, and when people in the Gorge community are arrested and jailed, they are sent to NORCOR. It is a public facility whose mission is to provide enhanced public safety through secure confinement, reformative programs, and a process of supervised community re-entry. As a public facility, NORCOR has a board of directors made up of local elected officials. Currently serving on the board are four county commissioners, one each from Gillum, Hood River, Sherman, and Wasco counties. A sheriff and a judge also serve on the board. The administrator of the facility, Brian Brandenburg, is NORCOR's budget officer, and while he is a board member, he is not a voting member of the board. The jail can house up to 212 adults, plus NORCOR has a juvenile detention center with 32 additional beds. The adult and juvenile sections of the facility provide complete physical separation between adult inmates and adjudicated youth. The jail's capacity is greater than the incarceration needs of the four counties it serves, so NORCOR contracts with additional counties from Oregon, as well as Washington State. To bring in more revenue, they also contract with the Bureau of Indian Affairs and the U.S. Marshals. It is through the contract with the U.S. Marshals that Federal Immigration and Customs Enforcement, commonly called ICE, gains access to the facility for housing immigrants whose immigration status is in question. Who else funds NORCOR? Taxpayers. Each of the four counties the jail serves provide financial contributions through property tax. The amount each county provides is determined by their relative populations. Wasco County, with the largest population, provides 50%, Hood River County, 40%, and Gillum and Sherman Counties each contribute 5%. NORCOR has a long history with ICE. For many years, contracts have been in place to provide beds for immigrant detainees, refugees, and asylum seekers at the jail. These people are in the custody of the federal government for being undocumented, which is not a criminal offense. These adults and children are awaiting hearings regarding their immigration status. They are not being held on criminal charges. The majority of people held by ICE at NORCOR are not local community members, but instead have been transferred from the Northwest Detention Center in Tacoma, Washington, a for-profit detention center owned by GEO Group, one of a handful of large corporations profiting from mass incarceration. Immigrants are transferred to NORCOR for a variety of reasons, including the jail's proximity to Portland where they may be attending hearings in court. Detainees at NORCOR, however, claim they are sent to the jail as punishment for their activism and organizing of resistance inside GEO Group's facility in Tacoma, transferred commonly without warning. Personal items are frequently lost in transport or simply left behind in Tacoma by GEO. ICE is apprehending people from all over the world and from all walks of life. They are teachers, parents, children, our neighbors, nurses, factory workers, students, and farm workers. Many have come here escaping violence, poverty, and persecution from oppressive governments. Some came here as children with their migrating families and know no other homeland. They have come to the United States for a better life, often working multiple jobs, forging the difficult path to legal residency. Once apprehended by ICE, they wait indefinitely for hearings, which may take years to get scheduled. 
with little communication regarding their status. Since being undocumented is not a criminal offense, detainees are not provided legal counsel. They must pay for a lawyer or represent themselves. When immigrants are brought to NORCOR, they vanish from society. The jail's website lists criminal inmates by name with photographs and details of their incarceration. However, there is no mention whatsoever of immigrants held by ICE, and their families often do not know where they have been taken. This causes undue stress to those held in detention as well as their loved ones. It also undermines the detainee's ability to have access to legal counsel. By hiding the true nature of what our jail is doing from the public, NORCOR has been cooperating with an unjust immigration system without public opposition. Until now. Gorge Ice Resistance, a coalition of local organizations and individuals throughout the Columbia River Gorge, came together to address the presence of immigrant detainees at NORCOR and the facility's contract with ICE. We are raising awareness within the Gorge community and pressuring the jail to terminate the contract with the federal government. While Gorge Ice Resistance acknowledges that NORCOR is an important component of our public safety, we also acknowledge that the contract NORCOR has with ICE actually undermines public safety by creating a culture of fear among our immigrant communities. Knowing that ICE has a presence in our local jail, immigrant community members are less likely to report crimes they witness or are subject to resulting in a decrease in safety for everyone. As long as NORCOR holds immigrants for ICE, our community is less safe. In April of 2017, hundreds of detainees at the Northwest Detention Center in Tacoma, Washington, organized and enacted a hunger strike in peaceful protest of the conditions in which they're being held. Some of the immigrants participating in the hunger strike were transferred to NORCOR, where they continued to refuse both food and water. The detainees suffering on hunger strike did so to raise awareness of the poor conditions within the NORCOR facility. They demanded not only improved conditions, but access to jobs and mental health programs. Detainees at NORCOR express frustration, fear, and hopelessness regarding the conditions at the jail. As non-citizens, they are being treated as if they have no rights at all, when in fact, all persons within the borders of the United States are guaranteed the rights stated in our Constitution. When detainees engage in a hunger strike, they are risking their bodily safety to fight for their basic human rights. We believe it is critical that we take action to amplify their message and bring it to the forefront of community awareness and bring an end to this inhumane practice. One of the most active groups in the Gorge Ice Resistance Coalition is Gorge Ecumenical Ministries, known locally as GEM. Many clergy from GEM volunteer their time to visit the detainees at NORCOR, a much-needed personal and spiritual connection for people who find themselves isolated and in crisis. Not only are they providing much-needed personal connections for the immigrants in our jail, they are participating in board meetings and pressuring the jail to allow daily visits with detainees as they are currently restricted to contacting them only two days a week. Through their reports back to the resistance, 
our clergy have opened a window into understanding the true plight these immigrants face daily inside the jail and within the immigration system as a whole. The heartfelt personal stories the clergy relate drive us to continue our actions and organizing without rest until the immigrants held unjustly in our jail are released. In 1987, Oregon passed a sanctuary law which states, No law enforcement agency of the state of Oregon or of any political subdivision of the state shall use agency monies, equipment, or personnel for the purpose of detecting or apprehending persons whose only violation of law is that they are persons of foreign citizenship present in the United States in violation of federal immigration laws. In July of 2017, the Oregon Law Center filed a lawsuit on behalf of four plaintiffs who are taxpaying residents of Wasco County against NORCOR, calling for an end to the contract with ICE as it is in violation of Oregon's sanctuary law. We commend the bravery of our neighbors and support their effort to break the ties between NORCOR and ICE through this litigation. In June, the Democratic Party of Oregon passed Resolution 2017-007, urging the governor and the legislature to create a statewide oversight task force to examine the operation of jail facilities, conducting independent investigations, to determine violations of state law, to maintain public records, and to recommend timely corrective action from necessary entities. In August, Gorge Ice Resistance began circulating a petition demanding immediate termination of the contract between NORCOR and ICE, the transfer of all people held by ICE out of NORCOR, and assurance that no future contracts or agreements between NORCOR and ICE shall be made. In September, the ACLU of Oregon issued a letter of demand to the jail's director and chairman of the board, stating, The conditions at NORCOR effectively punish immigration detainees and dehumanize detainees and inmates alike. The inhumane treatment and deficient conditions at NORCOR, conditions inconsistent even with constitutional minima for convicted prisoners, not only make a mockery of the federal government's past commitment to human detention reform, but also present an invitation to bring a lawsuit. We continue the work to uphold human dignity, raise community awareness, and push for divestment from ICE in this time of human crisis. Thank you.